Yeah. Welcome to a special Sunday edition of Lenny Solomon Live. Yeah. Hope you guys are doing well. You had a good Shabbat. This is Lenny Solomon Show number 299. It's a special show. It's a special show. Yeah. Hope everybody's doing good. So, you know, today's show will be a potpourri of songs. It is the hundredth day since the war started, October 7th. It is uh, 100 days. Today's January 14th. And, you know, it's a trying time here in Israel. We're trying to stay happy. We're trying to be upbeat. But as you guys know, sometimes it's hard. Yeah, sometimes it's hard. We're gonna say hello to everybody. We gotta bring them home. All right, we gotta say hello to Steve Ettinger and to Jason from Chandler, Arizona. Uri from Pittsburgh. Steve is from Israel. And uh, okay, you guys. got some great songs for you guys today. Might as well get to them. I waited until you guys all got on. Yeah. All right, let's start with, with Am Yisrael Chai. Here we go. Am Yisrael Chai. Or Avinu Chai. Am Yisrael Chai. Thrasher's Night. Where did Atlanta move to? Winnipeg. Where they became the Winnipeg Jets again. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
There's a rumor there's going to be another expansion team from Atlanta, but it hasn't happened yet. In the meantime, let's say hello to everybody. Jason writes, would have been awesome if show number 300 wound up on Sunday. Well, I, I didn't think about that, but show number 300 will be Wednesday night. We're only going to have one show this week, Wednesday night. Yeah. As I get ready to go on my trip to America from January 24th to February 13th. So Wednesday night will be show 300. I'm going to try to get the guys in the band to show up and make it like a um, a show where everybody comes in and we will reminisce. We'll have to see. Perhaps Aton G will come in, get the guys to come. Jonah Lloyd, putting him on the spot. I don't even know if he's in Israel or in America or where he is, but. So last show, Rafi Gonchar requested the Birthright Anthem from the Broadway album. So we're going to do that for you guys right now. It was a song that I wrote to become the Birthright Anthem of Birthright, but it didn't work. They didn't accept it, but it's still a good song. And it goes like this. We've come from all over the world to the land where our ancestors walked. We're here with flags unfurled to live, to share, and to talk. We believe in community. We pledge solidarity to bond, to unite together, to give and to receive. It's our birthright, it's our destiny to come back to our land, unlock the mystery. It's our birthright, it's our unity, learning and growing from our history. For 10 days, we will explore the land for the very first time. Hearing the language, singing the songs, feeling the rhythm and rhyme. We bring you diversity from all nationalities to bond, to unite together, to give and to receive. Everybody! It's our birthright, it's our destiny to come back to our land, unlock the mystery. It's our birthright, it's our unity, learning and growing from our history. We're gonna strengthen our times with our brothers and our sisters. And when it's all over, we'll come back again and again and again and again. Oh, here we go. It's our birthright. It's our unity to come back from our land. Like a mystery, it's our birthright, it's our destiny, learning and growing from our history, it's our birthright. The Birthright Anthem, otherwise known as JJ's Song. I wrote it for JJ because at that time, May he rest in peace. He worked for Birthright in Jewish communal services. And he asked me to write a song 
for them, and I did. So you guys, I never thought I would play that one. <laughs> I actually had to prepare for that. It's been so long since I've heard it even. I don't think I could have sung it to you until I went back to the album and listened. But that's why now all the albums, this is unbelievable. There are 41 albums now on all the streaming services. How long that will last, I don't know. But right now, we thank God that we got them on We got them on the streaming services. I want to say hello to Sam from Chicago. It's snowing in Chicago. Yes, it's snowing in New York now. She writes, bring them home now. Mikey Tevner. Mikey, good to see you. Mikey's in Israel. My sister Judith from Far Rockaway, from Bayswater, New York. All right. I, I got to tell you guys, we're coming to the end of our of our public fundraiser. Our public fundraiser will end with show 300. Um, I'll still ask you guys to go to the website and stuff, but it's going to become a private fundraiser where I will email you privately and say, please give a donation. Please support. Because I got to tell you, we're on our way to making album number 42, which is really album number 41, because 42 has come out already. It's called Nisim Nisan. You can actually hear it on Spotify, on iTunes, on YouTube, on all that stuff. So, um, Nisim Nisan. plus we have two singles that we released, one called Weeping for the Killers and one called Lo Shama, all about the war. And I'm working on a number of music videos that I want to release. We need to be funded, you guys. We need to be funded. These things cost money. They don't just happen. So I want to thank all of you that have donated in over the last 25 days. And, um, and keep it up. So let's uh, let's do another schlock rock song, you guys. Guess what's coming up in another week? Tu Bishvat. Ready? Bore, bore, puria eats. Bore, bore, puria eats. Dore, bore, puria eats. Bore, bore, puria eats. To be schwat, schwat, schwat. 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 It's Rosh Hashanah for the trees of Tu Bishvat Shvat Shvat. Say Shechianu, if you please, on Tu Bishvat Shvat Shvat. Oh, this is a festive time. Fruit is sweet right off the vine. So sing this Tu Bishvat song. Just come and sing along. Where the room boom 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 oh oh where the room boom 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 oh oh to be schwach 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 to be schwach 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 fix dates and raisins the land we're praising to be schwach 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 yeah shechian on on to be schwach 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 a new fruit to eat is bliss. Do this mitzvah, you won't be remiss. So sing this stupid shot song. Just come and sing along mm, with rum bum bum bum. Oh oh, with rum bum bum bum. Oh oh, to be shot shot shot. To be shot shot shot. Shkidi aporachat, shemesh pasorachat, zipori merosh kodak, nevasot e poechat. Tu bishvat higia, chag la ilanot. Tu bishvat higia, chag la ilanot. Eat a new fruit on Tu Bishvat. Eat a new fruit on Tu Bishvat. Say Shechianu on Tu Bishvat. Say Shechianu on Tu Bishvat. Chita, Sora, Gefen, Tena, Rimon. Zeit Shem and Vash Tu Bishvat Shvat Shvat Tu Bishvat Shvat Shvat Tu Bishvat Shvat Shvat 
too much fun, fun, fun. Everybody together, come on. Bore, 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 eight. Bore, 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 eight. Bore, 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 eight. Bore, 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 eight. Too much fun, fun, fun. Yeah. We want to say hello to David Goodman. David Goodman from Camp Hask. Hello, David. So, you guys, I hope you're enjoying today's show. We still have to do the Baba Sali song. I'm just letting you know. Today, Dalit Shvat was the Baba Sali's yurt site. And now, here in Israel, it's Hey Shvat already. But in America, it, it's still Dalit Shvat. So that will be, we have prepared that song for you guys. Very excited about that song. All right. Binyamin C writes, just made my first 2024 donation. Good luck. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. That's what we need. That's what we need. Yeah. Okay, you guys, so Baba Sali will do, we'll do another song later. First, first let's do, we'll do it after this one. But I think what I want to do right now, so I want to remind you all to go to www.fourcornersproject.org and click on donate and do what you got to do for the year. It's for the year, everybody. And then, you know what else I want to tell you? Something very interesting. Let's do a song. Let's go back to uh, Kesher. Let's go back to Kesher. Let's do something about, let's do Vesamachta, because we all need to be happy. Vesamachta Bechagecha. The first song that I really ever wrote, and it was a hit song, and it goes like this. Vesamachta Bechagecha, Vesamachta Bechagecha, Vesamachta Everybody sing. Samachta 
והיית שמח, והיית שמח. Yeah, nice version of Visamachta. Track number one on Kesher one. All right. We got a big crowd tonight listening to show number 299. It's a nice thing. Very nice crowd. Mm-hmm. So we got to do the Baba Sali song. So. Baba Sali was one of the greatest Chachamim of all time. And what was his secret, ladies and gentlemen? Oh, Mikey writes, I have all the Kesha tapes here. Need to get them transferred. Well, Mikey, this is your lucky day. I will send you the, a link for the downloads of all the Kesha. I will send you a link so you don't have to get them transferred. Just email me. You know what? I have your email. I'll get it to you. But I wanted to tell you something interesting. The Baba Sali, what was his power? His power was he never spoke Lashon Hara. He never spoke Lashon Hara. Yeah. And because he never spoke to Lashon Hara, means he never spoke badly about anybody. Um, he had the power of the tongue. That means when he made a blessing, that blessing came true. And that was one of the big secrets, one of the big secrets of the Baba Sali. Famous story, guy who was wounded in the war in Israel, came to him in Nitivot, which is where he lived at the end of his life. And the guy couldn't walk. And the Baba Sali said, stand up. If you, if you agree to take Shabbat on, if you agree to be Shomer Shabbat, if you agree to be Shomer Shabbat, he said, you can walk. He said, the guy said, I agree. So Baba Sali said, stand up. And he stood up and he walked to the phone to the booth and he made a phone call. And he, he was never paralyzed again. Unbelievable story. But the Baba Sali, that, that was the power of the Baba Sali. It was the power of the tongue because he never spoke badly about somebody. So here we go. This is dedicated to Amy from Montreal. This is Baba Sali. Rosh Hashanah 5650, Abba was a rabbi in a big Moroccan city. They learned Kabbalah and plenty of Gemara. Prayer was his power, people came to get a bracha. This reverend Jew would use his tongue as a vital cure. Watching his words would make his prayers succeed much more. Bless the water, miracle provider. Arabs give for blessings and give, give to Dukkah. Rosh Hashiva, Rav of the Kahila, said would be okay if we only did Yeshuva. Learned straight through battles. He knew we would survive pray to keep us alive Baba Sali bless us please God fulfills righteous decrees Baba Sali pray for me we know praying is the key yeah yeah Turn the lever, not afraid to enter. Shams would not come for the danger of a specter. But the aim of a Moshol Abuchatzera, prayers would begin just like a Rebeforia. He came to load and Niti vote is where he went. Lived there until his last breath. Baba Sali, bless us, please. God fulfills righteous decrees. Baba Sali, pray for me. We know praying is the key. Yeah, yeah. Jews came from everywhere to you. Jews knew that all you did was true. 
Your tales and story really grew. You made us glad, glad, glad. Watch for later, but we'll anticipate her. Hands on the 12, no need for us to wait her. He was real, doctor said it's over. Walked to the phone when he accepted the Torah. Doled out the blessings, he was helping all those who asked. At 94, he did pass. Prayers did last. Baba Sali, bless us, please. God fulfills righteous decrees. Baba Sali, pray for me. We know praying is the key. Yeah, yeah. Baba Sali, bless us, please. God fulfills righteous decrees. Baba Sali, pray for me. We know praying is the key. Yeah. Baba Sali. Great song. But give a shout out to Steve. Steve, great to see you. Hope you're doing good. Here on Lenny Solomon Live Show number 299. I want to make a public service announcement. Show 300 will be a special show with guest stars throughout the show, and it will be on Wednesday night. So the next Lenny Solomon Live Show is Wednesday night. You can say, Lenny, what about Monday? What about Tuesday? Well, believe it or not, I actually have things to do this week. It's a busy week. So show number 300 will be Wednesday night. Yeah. yeah, we've had a good time so far. We're 27 minutes in to Lenny Solomon Live. Mm. Ah, let's do a little Streets of Jerusalem. You ready? This is one is dedicated to our associate producer, Judy Hertzfeld, and my sister Judith, who loves this song too. Here we go. Standing in the old city, I look but I can't believe my eyes. It's late at night and they still keep pouring in. Emotions come easy. Just look at your words and start to pray. Tis low like waterfalls coming down into the bay. The streets of Jerusalem, we're in the palace of the king. The streets of Jerusalem, heart of the world. I see your glory, I see your power and your pride, I can't express the way you make me feel, I see your past at your, this is where the righteous spend their time, we all are people of the world. Everybody, come on. The streets of Jerusalem, we're in the palace of the king. The streets of Jerusalem, the heart of the world. Think back what it might have been like during temple times. The sights you would have seen back in those days. The wisdom of King Solomon, the service of the priests, and the singing of the Levites, and the rest of us. Yeah. 
the streets of Jerusalem. We're in the palace of the king, the streets of Jerusalem, the heart of the streets of Jerusalem, ladies and gentlemen. And we'd like to welcome our associate producer, Judy Hertzfeld, who came in just in time for her favorite song. So now, one second, we're going to do one thing. All right, so you guys, what has been your experience with spiritual rabbis? I have got a bunch of stories, but one of them is when I once went to see the Lubavitcher Rebbe in 1991. Tetney Sun, 1991. It was a very interesting day because um, my friend Peter Bentley from Australia was, had a ticket to going to Australia. So he said, Lenny, let's go see the Rebbe because they'll move me to the front of the line. And that's exactly what happened. We were fourth on line to see the Rebbe. Now, all you really did back then was you got dollars from the Rebbe. The Rebbe gave you dollars. So he gave you a blessing and he gave you a dollar for tzedakah. So when my turn came, I said to him, Shtima. Shtima in Yiddish means voice because my voice was, I was having voice problems. And he goes, Rufu Shlema. Then I said, Shidduch, because I was single still. And he said, um, Chag Hashem Sameach, have a good Pesach. His Pesach was coming up, and he gave me a dollar for each one. And I felt like he had placed a protective bubble upon me. I've had that happen one other time with a great rabbi here in Israel, named Rabbi Gamliel Rabinowitz. Amazing rabbi. Also, you know, just and at the end. When I said to him, can I give you some tzedakah? He pushed my hand away and he said, I don't want your tzedakah. I just want you to succeed. And that's how you know he was real. See, sometimes there's a mikubal, a Kabbalist, and there's a mikabel, someone who receives. If, if people ask you for money in order to give you, you know, blessings, then it's not a great thing. It's better for you to offer to give it to them, not for them to ask you. So that's how you know. Yeah, I had a great interaction with the Lubavitcher Rebbe, great interaction. I mean, it just was unbelievable. I walked out of there, and then I met this guy who was a famous Broadway writer. He had written, I can't remember the name of the show, but he had written the show, a famous Broadway show, and... I said, what are you doing here? He said, well, I've been, we, me and my wife, he said, we've been trying to have a baby and science didn't work. So we we uh, we came to the Rebbe for a blessing. I don't know if he ever had kids, but I never found out. But I will tell you this. Um, this is Atlanta Thrasher's night. This is a thrasher. <laughs> it's a bird with a hockey stick over here. Hockey stick, yeah. Hockey stick, bird, blue, Atlanta. It's kind of blue. It's like a, I think it's a turquoise blue. Is that correct? For those of you out there who are color people, <laughs> the darker blue is, of course, here. It's a nice jersey, and it goes perfectly with the Daniel in Babylon hat. So today's show really has been a lot about praying. We did Baba Sali. Started with Am Yisrael Chai. From Am Yisrael Chai went to the birthright song JJ song then from there we went to mm, can't remember sky blue Judy tells me it's a sky blue this is very nice it is a sky blue it's a beautiful beautiful color I love it I love colorful jerseys anyway we try to mix them up so you get different jerseys um all right, let's go to another praying song. Ready? Here we go. I sit right down, Sikriachima, then I get up and do the Amida. I sit right down, Sikriachima, then I get up and do the Amida. I sit right down, Sikriachima, then I get up and do the Amida. I sit right down, Sikriachima, then I get up and do the Amida. 
Kissing Titi today. Kissing Titi today. Before you go to bed, Kriyat Shema is said as the sun is shining. Till a certain time, it's Kriyat Shema in the morning during Shacharit. It's Kriyat Shema in the meeting during Marit. Oh, girls and boys, girls and boys, say Shema. I sit right down, say Kriyat Shema. Then I get up and do the Amida. I sit down. Sigriachma, then I get up and do the Amida. I sit right down. Sigriachma, then I get up and do the Amida. I sit right down. Sigriachma, then I get up and do the Amida. Kissing Titi today. Kissing Titi today. Before you go to bed, Sigriachma said as the sun is shining. Till a certain time, Sigriachma in the middle of the shower. Sigriachma in the yeah. Can't talk to your next door neighbor during Shema. I sit right down, say Kriyat Shema, then I get up and do the Amida. Sit right down, say Kriyat Shema, then I get up and do the Amida. Sit right down, say Kriyat Shema, then I get up and do the Amida. Sit right down, say Kriyat Shema, then I get up and do the Amida. I sit right down, say Kriyachma, then I get up and do the Amida. I sit right down, say Kriyachma, then I get up and do the Amida. I sit right down, say Kriyachma, then I get up and do the Amida. I sit right down, say Kriyachma, then I get up and do the Amida. I sit right down, yeah, yeah. 37 minutes in, ladies and gentlemen. So the question is, do we really want to see Daniel and Babylon launch this year? We really do. So we make a prayer, we make a blessing that Hashem lets the money come in so that we can fund this project. Whether it be through investment or through donation. If you know anybody interested in investing in the next greatest musical, Uli Ayan Hara, please... Email me, Lenny at schlockrock.com, L-E-N-N-Y at S-H-L-O-C-K-R-O-C-K.com, or Lenny at fourcornersproject.org, or Lenny at Daniel in ba- or Daniel in Babylon Film at gmail.com. Either way, whatever you guys want. There's so many different emails that I am accessible, ladies and gentlemen, or on Facebook, or on LinkedIn, or on Twitter, or on YouTube. All right. Let's do something slow a little bit, and then we'll close with one more parody. So as we are coming to the end of our show, we have around seven minutes to go. Let's uh, let's do one of my favorite songs, Seush Arim from Kesher 3. The piano is sounding extra good today. Shem Gibor, Bilchamah, 
Ooh. What theme song was that, you guys? What theme song was that? It was a it was a sitcom. I'm not gonna tell you. You'll tell me. Tell me in the comments. Okay, guys. So if you've made it this far, call a couple. Forty three minutes of schlocking. Let's finish. I want to remind you all, please support the projects, which, oh, I got it already. Steve, with cheers. Jason, with cheers. Mikey, with cheers. Yep, you got it. We should do like a whole um, name that tune. We should do a name that tune night. That'll be fun. That would be really fun. Maybe uh, show 301. But meanwhile, show 300 will be Wednesday night. It'll be all guests, hopefully from the band. That's the goal. I got to tell them, though. <laughs> but this Wednesday night, make sure you tune in. What time? I'm going to guess it's going to be 10 p.m., 3 p.m. New York time. That's how I'm going to guess. So, um, all right, we got to finish. Ready? We think you're swell, Barbanel. You got me yearning for the learning, reaching for the teacher, Barbanel. I went to a shear, thought it would be clear. So I'm Barbanel, now I'm learning for a year, Barbanel. Barbanel. Got me yearning for the learning, reaching for the teacher, Barbanel. Yeah, ba 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 Barbanel, ba 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 Barbanel. We think you're swell, a Barbanel. You got me yearning for the learning, reaching for the teacher, Barbanel. Tried Kabbalah, tried Agada, tried a Barbanel, and it all began to gel, a Barbanel, a Barbanel. 
I'm yearning for the learning, reaching for the teacher, Bobby now. Take it home, everybody. We think you're swell. Barbanel. You got me running right over the learning, reachable, teaching mama now. Binyamin yeah. writes, we probably have that on VHS from the 80s. Yes, you do. I'm sure you do. I even have some VHS still left. I don't know why, though. You guys, hope you enjoyed the show. We are running over as usual. I want to say thank you very much. We'll see you Wednesday night. We're going to try to do a 10 p.m. show for the 300th Lenny Solomon Live since June 2020. 300 shows. It's a big milestone. Imagine if there would have been 300 live concerts in person. But because of COVID and because of the world, that has not happened. But Hashem gives you other means. He gives you other means to reach people. Isn't that true? It's my pleasure. Keep on schlocking, everybody. On Lenny Solomon Live. Show number 299 is in the can. We'll see you on Wednesday night. Mm -hmm.